Hello, my name is Ronick with Here Technologies. I'm joined with Stefan Electrobit. He's a software architect uh, looking after innovation. Behind us is their next generation digital cockpit. And they're showing that amongst other things here at CES 2024. So Stefan, maybe you can tell us a little bit about what innovation looks like for this year. Oh, there's a lot of going on in terms of innovation at Electrobit currently, but if you ask me personally, I would say developing complete cockpit system, including instrument cluster, including in vehicle infotainment system, including rear seat solution. This is what excites me the most. And if you look at this one here, it's our next generation cockpit system. Uh, it features AI technology, it features EB theming engine also here application. This is what excites me the most. Yeah. And so you've brought in here navigation and other locations. So tell us a little bit about that and how that integrates here. Right. So, I mean, navigation technology is key to any state of the art cockpit, right? Besides the, the navigation application itself, we leverage uh, location uh, data for our ADAS functionality for the electronic horizon in the instrument cluster. Uh, then for electronic vehicles, of course, uh, charge aware um, navigation is super important uh, to reduce uh, range anxiety. And last but not least, for autonomous driving, mm -hmm. situation awareness and feeding back the, the data from the current route into the autonomous driving computer is absolutely key. Right. And what about here? What made you uh, look after here and what was your interest and what kind of value are you finding? As you know, we have a, a long-standing partnership with here. Uh, I guess we, we took lots of benefits out of it, probably both sides. Uh, if I would need to come up with my personal top three, I would say it's first of all the HERE application itself, which provides uh, yeah, off-the-shelf uh, turnkey solution for navigation, uh, which relieves us from implementing the whole complexity again and again uh, for each project. Then number two, I would say it's the, the HERE SDK, which we leverage whenever we have more demanding customers, which say, hey, I need more customization, more flexibility, this kind of stuff, then we need to implement it ourselves. And probably last but not least, it's the, um, the HERE professional services, uh, where we leverage your, your expertise and, and your competence and your well, mm. probably teamwork um, to make yeah, any production ready integration for any navigation uh, solution. Yeah, very cool. And then you mentioned ADAS, so tell us a little bit more in detail about ADAS and how you're using the ADAS uh, map content data here in this. So ADAS in this case um, uh, happens in, in the instrument cluster. The instrument cluster here is implemented with the Unreal Engine. So this is a great tool basically to for, for rendering real time data in, in 3D. The actual ADAS data is then fed into this from the electronic horizon of uh, EB Robinos, which again uh, is fed by map and navigation data from here. HNAV is also integrated with your theming engine for more of a seamless user experience, right? right. So can you just walk us through that as well? Yeah, so um, with our partnership, we, we were able to um, create a compatibility between your application and our EB theming engine. So that means whenever we switch uh, themes, so basically that the complete system changes its look and feel, uh, it's initiated by the EB theming engine and we forward this information to you, to the here application, which then also changes themes so that we can have in the end, again, one holistic view and, and a seamless mm -hmm. integration. And then you mentioned this has an AI component mm -hmm. to it as well. So can you walk us through a little bit the generative AI capabilities that you have? Yeah, so as many other companies, we're also currently investigating how we can leverage generative AI for the software defined vehicle. And as a first prototype here, we are leveraging uh, GPT-4 and DALI-3 for an uh, AI assistant, which customizes the, uh, your dashboard according to your needs. So I can, for example, say, let's start navigation to Las Vegas, and then it will adapt accordingly the widgets or which kind of widgets I will have, uh, what colors I will have, generate wallpapers, this kind of stuff. That's super interesting. Yeah, thanks for taking us through it. I mean, it's a really impressive piece of hardware and um, yeah, really cool. So thanks again for taking us through that.